I'm Alain Monnier, medical oncologist. I am the head of the medical department of oncology in uh, the hospital of Belfort Montbéliard in France. We made a research concerning safety issues and especially cardiovascular issues among women taking aromatase inhibitors. This problem arised when, arose, sorry, arose when we gave the first data of uh, some trials in which women received aromatase inhibitors. And these trials used to show that we had a little bit more cardiovascular issues among the women taking aromatase inhibitors. And we would like to know if these problems were important or not, if the safety issues were perhaps life-threatening or not. And actually what we can say is that the problem is very simple. In these trials, we were comparing aromatase inhibitors and tamoxifen. And now we know very well that tamoxifen is decreasing lipids, is decreasing the vascular risks. So if you compare, in the, as it has been done in other trials, aromatase inhibitors and placebo, we are able to show that, we, that there is strictly no difference. It's only because the comparator is tamoxifen with the possibilities of this drug to reduce the cholesterol levels and also cardiovascular issues that we were able to show difference. So we compared also the results of the trials to an age-matched population of postmenopausal women who did not receive any drug and we have no more safety issues among the treated population and the standard and the population living without any drug. So should women feel reassured by this study? Yes, surely, surely. I think that actually these women have not important risk and safety cardiovascular issues, apart if they have diabetes or hypertension. We have to be very prudent among these women. And I can tell you that we can treat even very, very old people with this type of drugs without uh, important cardiac issues and we cannot say now that when we give aromatase inhibitors, even for five years to old patients, and if we respect what I said previously, we cannot say that we increase the vascular risk and we shall have a more important death, number of deaths due to the drugs. Okay. So they can be reassured and they have to take the drugs. And everybody now, even the cardiologist and their general practitioner knows what they have to test before giving the drug. My message for the oncologist is that the main role of the drug is to cure more and more people. We have to put on the other arm of the balance the safety issues. And actually, as I told you previously, there is strictly no difference between the age-matched population and the treated population. And so the use of this drug is considered a as safe and we have to continue to prescribe them when it's needed because it will depend on the risk associated with the tumor and you know also that some of the women will also receive tamoxifen so if they need tamoxifen they will receive it and if they need aromatase inhibitors they will receive it but don't forget also that tamoxifen even if it's not the gold standard is continues to be associated with vascular risks too and we forget them also. It's not cardiovascular issues, but it's uh, 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 vascular accidents and so on. And I think that globally, we have no more risk when we give either tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors.